So now let's look at the non-inverting adder. So the same as the adder, the only difference is that it doesn't invert the output signal. So here's a circuit for it here, and we can add our voltages in here, V1 and V2. Then you see a negative feedback resistor there, and there's another resistor here to ground. So we go ahead and we analyse that as we have all the previous videos. So uh, if we were to look at, in this instance, the voltage at the V minus pin and the voltage at the V plus pin, and then we know that those are going to be equal to each other, so therefore we then make those equal to each other, and then we're able to find out how this circuit works. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start off with the current and this leg here. So we can see that the, oh, sorry, we can start off the current in this leg here. Okay, so we can see that V1 minus V plus is the current through this resistor here, R, and that's it in blue, a little blue arrow, so that's that current there, plus the current uh, which is given by V2 minus V plus upon R, that's the current in this leg here, and we know there's no current flows into the input there, so it means that whenever we add both those currents together, we're going to get zero, okay? So we can then separate these out, so we're going to have V1 upon R minus V plus upon R plus V2 upon R minus V plus upon R equals zero, and we gather like terms here, so we get minus 2 V plus upon R equals minus V1 upon R plus V2 upon R, and then we can take the R up and the minus 2 d uh, down, the minus is cancelled, so we get our V plus is equal to this here, okay, and that means we can cancel out our values of R, so our V plus is V1 plus V2 upon 2. So that's the first bit here, so we know what the V plus is, looks like. Now we've got to find out what the V minus is. So again, we can look at it and we can say that we can look at the current in this leg here. So the current in this leg here is going to equal our, starting with this one here, it'll be our, our V minus minus zero. So that's our V minus there, minus the zero upon R is the current through that leg there. So that's the current in blue, that blue arrow there. And if we were to add on uh, V minus, minus V out, so that's a V out there upon RF, then that current plus that current is going to equal zero. Or equally, if this was another side, it'd just be saying that current is the negative of that current there. So that can then be written um, as V minus upon R plus V minus minus V naught upon RF equals zero. And we can take out our common factor of V minus and we get this here. And we can take the V minus upon RF across the V out upon RF across the other side. And then we can take this here, uh, divide throughout by this here, we'll get this here. Okay, and that leaves us with our V minus equals uh, this here. So this is our finally as our V minus, okay? So we're just taking our RF upon R up there and it becomes uh, this here. So our V minus equals um, R V naught upon RF. R V naught upon RF plus R. Okay, so that's our, our value for V minus. Now I suggest what you do is, I've read through it quite quickly, but just get a pen and paper and work through the derivation yourself. Uh, it's, it's quite useful to do that. And uh, once you get used to doing it, you'll you actually get it done quite quickly. Okay, so now finally, We've worked out our voltages at V plus and V minus, and we know from the golden rules that the V plus must equal V minus. So this here must equal this up here. Okay, so that's us rewritten it there. And then we solve this for V out. So V out equals RF plus R upon 2R V1 plus V2. So you can see that the output is equal to the sum of the two input voltages here and we can choose the values of RF uh, in order to R in order to give us some gain. Okay, so there's a circuit done in multi-sim. Uh, the only difference is I've added in a, a third value. Okay, so each of these are one volt peak. 
so the final output here should be a 3 volt peak signal coming out. So uh, let's have a wee look at that. The output, and then just a second we'll we'll get in and we'll have a wee look at it also live in multisim. So you can see there we've got a one volt peak signal, and that gives us a three volt peak signal. And you notice now the signal has not been inverted. Okay, so we can see that within multisim. So that's our circuit there in multisim, and if I was to run that and again this is made available to you so you can open it up and you can see where all the components are and how they're all set up so this is the output signal here okay and you can see it. it's at one volt and it's got one two three volts the input is one volt so there are actually three of them there uh, one sitting behind uh, the other and uh, that's that's all there is to that. Okay, so um, thank you for listening to this. Uh, I'll move on to um, the uh, subtractor, which is also uh, called the differential amplifier, on the next video. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.